Right, so the first question you guys can answer without using a calculator, right? Is there a graph opening up or down? Up. Now, if a graph opens up, is our vertex going to be a maximum point or a minimum point? Minimum. So now when you look to find your vertex, you're going to test to see can you find the minimum point. So that's one of the choices on the map app. All right, let me talk through the remaining steps here. So, first thing, after we determine the behavior, know what we're looking for, we need to enter this into our Y editor. So, green diamond F1. Okay, I'm going to go back, I'm going to replace this one. Okay, I get 3x squared plus 6x minus 10. Hit enter. Again, make sure that it looks exactly like what I want it to be. And then I can go to my graph. So if I hit green diamond, F3. Now in looking at my graph, do I see all the points on it? No. So I need to extend my graph. I need to move it down. Left and right is OK. The up part is OK. But I need to go down further than negative 10 on the Ys. So I need to change my window setting. Green diamond, F2. Okay. My Y minimum needs to be lower than negative 10. So I'll go negative 20 on this. At the same time, I'm going to go ahead and change the maximum back to 10. You don't necessarily have to, but I can now view my graph. I see everything. And so I've got my window setting uh, set up the right way where I can view this entire graph. And so now I want to find the vertex. I decided that my vertex is a minimum. It's the lowest point in this screen. So to find that, I go to this math tab. Now I choose minimum, number three. Now my lower bound means this crosshair has to be the, to the left of this lowest point, what I see the vertex to be. Is it right now? No. So I need to move it somewhere over here. Again, you can either sc scroll with the buttons, okay, which is time consuming, possibly. Okay, but it still works until you get some point that's to the left of your vertex. Or you can just type in a number that you know for sure is to the left of it. I know that negative 10 right here is to the left of this vertex. So I'm going to choose my lower bound of negative 10. My upper bound needs to be to the right of this vertex. Easiest thing just to choose a number that's far to the right. We could have picked anything that's a non-negative. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, any of those numbers would work. If you just get in the habit of always going your furthest, whatever your window setting is on the far left as your lower bound, your far right as the upper bound, hit enter, and it'll give you your vertex. Lauren, question. Okay. Check and see, are, like, in your window settings, is your maximum and minimum, are they the same number, or is the maximum smaller than the minimum, or vice versa? Okay, well, I will come over and check it in just a second. The axis of symmetry is always going to be of the form x equals, and then it's the x coordinate of your vertex, so negative 1. The y intercept is always your constant, so it's the point 0, negative 10. And then you can pick one other solution point, and so on your graph, and we already have a point to the right of our vertex, so let's pick a point that's over here, to the left of it, and again on our math tab choose value, and what's a point that's to the left of negative 1? A value, an x value to the left of this axis of symmetry. Negative 3. So if we pick negative 3, we get the point negative 3, negative 1 as our other point. And so when you sketch this, what you should do is choose your point. So here's my point, negative 1, negative 13. Label it. I'm going to label it opposite the direction the graph opens. So it opens up, so I'm labeling it below. Okay, label your uh, y-intercept. So here's the point, 0, negative 10. Okay, and so when I sketch my graph here, it's a U-shape. It's going to pass through these two points, and it'll just continue following this U-shape. Okay, it's going to be mirrored across the axis of symmetry. So I can draw that in, and that's just going to be a vertical line right through the vertex. 
And then finally I pick my one last point to plot, negative three, negative one. And so obviously I ha haven't scaled this drawing correctly. It's gonna be a little bit skinnier. And so when you look at this, negative three, negative one, puts it right here. And this represents what your graph would look like. All right, I'm going to do one more example. You should be able to answer all those questions pretty quickly with this. Okay. I want you to try this one very fast. And I'll come by and answer questions. Okay, so do all the same thing. The behavior, vertex, line of symmetry. 